Um, oh, bad air. That one hurt a little bit. Um, I am so proud of this team. Just the, the heart, the energy, the passion that they're playing the game with. The way they went out there and you know, coming out after three losses in a row in the conference and to come out and play with that kind of confidence, to play with that kind of effort, that kind of passion, and that kind of enthusiasm. Um, just there's an unbelievable bond in that locker room. And those guys went out there and I thought they put it on the line. They put it on the field tonight. They went out there and they gave everything I can ask of them. They, they put everything out on that field. And you know, we made a couple of mistakes, obviously. the. The punt that we tried to field once it was bouncing around, uh, they gave up three points. The kickoff return that went for a touchdown, and um, and then I felt like we played the game the right way at the end with Demetrius Murray getting the big play coming out of the backfield, and then BJ competing his tail off to get down there. You got a really good kicker, uh, center the ball for him. You're on the wherever we were, the five, the ten. I'm not sure where it was, but it was right about there center the ball for him, put it right in the middle of the field, and let's make it easy and let's go home with a win. And we miss it. Uh, we just we pull it left, the whole operation, we just we didn't get it done. And like I said, I hate it because you go play a game like that and you, you rush for 220 yards and your def defense gives up, what? Seven. Minus seven. Minus, you rush for 221, your defense gives up minus seven. Statistically, you're not supposed to lose those games. you know. But I give Rutgers an awful lot of credit. Coach is an excellent football coach, and they, they did what they had to do going down the stretch. They threw and caught the big play down there uh, to put the ball, to put the game into overtime. But I was really proud, as I said on the he on the headsets, you know what, there's, we got plenty of time. I mean, we got plenty of time to get the thing down there. And we stopped, had to punt, the defense got a turnover, and whew, there's 36 seconds to go, and we're down on the 10-yard line to win it. Just a game of highs and lows emotionally. But I feel bad for... The seniors, I feel bad that for the guys in that locker room that, that played so hard, but we had our opportunities, we just couldn't make the most of them. But statistically, when you look at it, um, really proud of what we did as an offense and what we did as a defense tonight. But I thought, uh, special teams wise, I, I did not think we punted the ball very well uh, at all. And we averaged, I don't know what it was, but they had to average at least 10, 15 more yards of punt than we did at nine eight, nine punts during the game, that's a lot of yards. I did not think our punters and our kickers did very well tonight as far as being productive. And when you're in a one-score game like that, it, it can make a difference. How tough is it just to have that one pass of the game not be there for this current losing streak and one time it may be the defense, and that's just the offense of tonight. It's, it's a special thing for me. Yeah. Um, well, offensively and defensively, I thought we did some really good things. I thought we did some really good things on both sides of the ball and played really well. But, um, gone. we got to be almost perfect, you know, with some of the mistakes that we make. Special teams has, I think we missed two field goals. We missed two field goals and then um, had the fumble and then had the kickoff return. And there's a lot of points in those four plays right there. There's a lot of points that would have been 7, 10, 16 points in a game that the difference was a field goal. Just unfortunate. Like I said, I hurt for these players because I can't, you can't go in there and just put your finger on just one thing. You know, like you said, it, a couple weeks ago, offensively, we didn't play very well at Connecticut. Defensively, we didn't play very well at Cincinnati. And tonight, well, offensively and defensively, I thought we played like the type of football team we're capable of being. But we just... We got to put it all together. We, we have to put it all together as a, as a team. There's just, like I said, a hurt for these players. Scotty, they are playing so hard, and they're doing, they're they're playing the game with passion. It's not like we had a million mistakes tonight. We didn't have all the penalties, you know, and things like that. We're we're getting some things corrected, but obviously we are a work in progress, and um, we weren't able to get it done tonight. Like I said, I give Rutgers credit. They they went out there and did what they had to do, but it's tough when you rush for 200. 20 yards and your defense holds them to minus seven and you find a way to lose the game. Skip, you had 10 point fourth quarter lead Cincinnati and 14 tonight. It's definitely the other team making plays, but is it also, could it be fatigue? Could it be your guys not having much of to make plays? No, I don't think it was that. I mean, you know, just like last ball, the fade, you, 
you say we're right there. You know, I mean, great throw by Dodd, great throw up and outside. You look at the two-minute drive, there was a number of throws there to the sideline that Sam Barrington's right underneath it. You know, the ball's just over the top of his fingertips, and Sanu makes a catch and gets his foot down. I just went on the sideline and went, great play. Wow, what do you say? I mean, your linebacker's right where he's supposed to be. Everybody's there. It was a great play by Dodd. I mean, but no, I don't think it's I don't think it's fatigue. I mean, you know, and again, you look at it and say we gave up a lead, but you know, I got a hard time blaming the defense for giving up that lead when you give up seven of it on special teams. You know, and they did. They threw the one deep ball, the fade on Kayvon over on our sideline that I thought was a well executed play on their part. They did a nice job of running the two minute drill. The sad part is with some of the other mistakes we made, I don't think it should have been there. I don't think it should have got to that. Skip, you guys had had help send him in check. He obviously was there for the two guys coming in. Had held him in check on the last drive, and then he's able to get seven catches on that last drive. <coughs> what did they do differently to then let him get open and get catches like that? No, I didn't think he was really wide open. I mean, that was the difference. I don't think he was that wide open. It's not like he was running free. We didn't know he was on the field. We went, oh, there he was. Um, we knew where he was, but I explained the fourth down catch. Holy smokes. You know, you're going to you know, rip your guy from being all over him when he's sliding down and throws a hand back and tips it to himself laying on the ground and catches it? I mean, uh, yeah, no. I, I got a hard time pointing the finger at our players. You know, I mean, that was – they made some great plays going down the stretch. Skip, can you just talk about the swing there that that kickoff return provides them? I mean, at one point it looks like you guys are going to – Roll to your first conference win, being up 14 and 738 to play. And 12 seconds later, it's a one score game again. Yeah, it's a one score game. There was still a lot of football to be played from there. I mean, there was a lot of things that happened in the final seven minutes as well. Um, I excited about it? No. Uh, we had. We grabbed them in the huddle and told them that they'd been coming, tried to come back to the boundary. We were squeezing it. Uh, even told them, be real careful before you cross a face. They're going to try and get something back out to the field. Uh, you know, we came down, we crossed faces, they took it back to the field, and there wasn't anybody left but a safety and a lead blocker on the safety. And once they got that, they hit it. Um, but, no, I don't think that lost the game for us because, you know what, if we make an extra point with no time remaining in regulation, we win the game. So it's hard to say that, it's hard to say that the kickoff return beat us. Certainly didn't help. Neither did the deep ball, neither did the fumbled punt. They went for three points earlier in the game. I mean, there were a lot of things that we could go back and change but in that, but it just we should have done a little bit better job of coaching the, you know, them crossing the face. We talked to them about it. We tell it, but we can't go out, can't go out and play. You know, like I said, this, this team wants to be good. The mistakes we're making, it's not, I've said this before, it's not pre-snap penalties. You know, I mean, it's not 12 men. It's not jumping off sides. It's not a lack of discipline penalties. It's not. It's none of that. It's just coming in some inopportune times. But like I said, I give give Rutgers credit. They made the plays they had to down the stretch. But I am incredibly proud of that group of young men in that locker room uh, down there. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of hurt in there for guys that play with that much passion. When a lot of people may have given up on this group because they dropped their first three conference games, but they came out here and they played tonight uh, just like they were undefeated. I mean, they came out here and played tonight with some passion and some energy, and I've said this from the beginning, this is not a team that'll lay down. It's a lunch pail carrying, blue collar, hard working group of guys that care about each other and are working extremely hard. And um, as a coach, we've got the obligation to do everything we can to turn a trend to help them on the field and play the game. Did you talk to Mike after that kick? Did someone get a piece of it or did you lose it? No, he said he just missed it. And I said he said that the operation, the ball wasn't down. It was a high snap. Uh, he said so it was a high snap, so the ball, I didn't get to see the ball, so I just kind of kicked at it and it dropped right at the last minute. Um, and I told him, I said, hey, we're gonna have the opportunity to win it regulate in uh, overtime. So don't worry about it. You know that was a win or go to overtime. It wasn't like win or lose. I mean that was so keep your head up. We're gonna win it. You're gonna have an opportunity to win it in overtime. Unfortunately, we didn't get that chance. Guys, we got players ready to roll. Thank you. Appreciate. It.